This is a segment where we take a look at a board game based on an IP and tell you the IP and the mechanisms match. Today we're looking at the Motley Fool's Buy Low, Sell High. Motley Fool's Buy Low, Sell High is very easy to play. At the beginning of the game, you will start with one stock of each type. On your turn, you can buy no stock, one of each type, or two of the same type. You always pay the price underneath the stock that you're purchasing. Then you will play a card from your hand. These cards will do different things. They can either increase or decrease the stock price at the end of the round. You can make people pay fees or $2 per stock that they own, or you may gain dividends at the end of the trading stock. So the whole game is about trying to buy, as the game says, stock at a low price and be able to sell back at a higher price. Each of the players will play cards to try to help out their stock and hurt their enemy stock. And that's how you play buy low and sell high. The Motley Fool is a stock market advisement group. And what they do is they advise people on stocks to purchase or perhaps sell, which is what you're doing in this game. You're simply buying and selling stocks. You want to buy them at a lower price and sell them at a higher price. But the players are going to be playing cards to dictate those prices. And Lady Luck may play into this a little bit. But I feel like the IP and the mechanisms do match together. They want to teach the Motley Fool about introductory stock market exchanges about buying these stocks and how to manipulate them to make them higher and lower and buying and selling at those prices. And I think it really accomplishes that. If you want to teach somebody about introduction to stock market, this might be a great place to start. And I think that's what they were trying to accomplish by bringing the IP in and bringing this board game together. And in a lot of ways, I think they nailed it. The components are nice. The rule set is simple. And if you wanted to teach the basics of stock market, I think you could accomplish it here. And I think that makes the IP and the mechanisms match almost perfectly. And at first, I was kind of like, yeah, I don't know if this IP is going to work with this segment. But I have to tell you, it really does. It's off the beaten path a little bit. I think most of us may not be as familiar with it as we would, say, Fast and Furious or Harry Potter or something different. But my gosh, this is one of the closest IPs and mechanisms that I have seen yet. So if in that case, it's a winner.